Claire Lopez, the White House and its spokesperson, Jen Psaki, are making no secret of the fact that they support the doxing of Supreme Court justices and the myriad of protesters out in front of the five justices that appear poised to um, restrict the Roe v. Wade decision of half a century ago. But what nobody seems to be talking about is those protests are illegal under federal law. In other words, you're not able to do anything with the intent of influencing a judge's decision on a pending case. Why in the world are these people not going to jail? Well, it, uh, it looks like the Biden administration um, sympathizes with them, or at least uh, with their support for abortion on demand up until the moment of birth and you know maybe thereafter as well. Um, there, there, there's a lot to unpack here. Uh, the leak in the first place, uh, out of the Supreme Court of that draft, draft opinion, apparently by Supreme Court Justice, Associate Justice Samuel Alito uh, itself may not have broken a law, but certainly broke precedence. And uh, it, it speaks to a complete loss of confidentiality uh, within the court. But the second thing that you mentioned, Barry, absolutely right, that uh, trying by any means, certainly by mob action, um, outside the home of a judge a, or, or a juror even, um, in order to uh, influence their pending decision, not even issued yet, pending decision on any issue, is illegal under US federal law, the US criminal code. And those protesters outside the homes, these are outside the homes of these justices, associate justices of the Supreme Court, are completely illegal. And we heard just this past weekend that the family of uh, Samuel Alito uh, and the justice himself had to be relocated to an undisclosed location for their security. This is outrageous.